Hey there, everybody. Welcome to The Daily Mix. I'm Angela Sharp. And I'm Colin Curry. Woohoo! All right, Colin, tell everybody who you are. Uh, I am uh, actually normally work here behind camera. Today we're trying to look uh, some a few little different things. Uh, and I'm glad I'm I got to work with uh, with Angela Sharp. I'm so excited man. you're here. That's Colin awesome. usually stands there and like makes funny faces at me. And, and now point and you're over here. I like that a lot better. Your piece and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's been going on? Uh, everything's been cool uh, with me. Everything's yeah. been cool. Uh, I speed too much. I had a court date today. And it kind of sucked, but besides that, uh, everything's been kind of kind of smooth. I didn't, I Ooh. didn't, because I think the police officer made a mistake, and I have like a reevaluation period kind of thing. Well, that, so don't speed. So There's no more speeding. You promise no more speeding. Promise no more, uh, no more speeding. No more unless, speeding. Uh, I have to go fast. <laughs> you know what else is going on? The St. Louis Blues have their caravan that starts tomorrow. Okay. It's going to be in Clayton, and tomorrow night's guest is Hitchcock, which means if you want to learn from the coach, you can check them out at CamelX.com and join them for the Blues caravan. I'm, you know me, I'm really excited that we're getting back into the hockey season. Make sure, make sure you don't speed there. Just <laughs> exactly. Drive there, uh, safely. Drive there very safely, safely. Drive very the slowly. Speed limit. <laughs> and of course, you know, there's only just a few more months left of summer. What are you gonna, what's on your checklist to do before uh, summer's over? I really want to have a pool party or go to a pool party. Yeah. I haven't went to a pool party all summer. Let's well, see, I've been to the weird. pool, but no party. No so party, right, right. With music, DJ, and let's throw a uh, daily mix pool daily party. Daily mix pool party. Yes. I like that a lot. No, we, you guys don't. We could invite everybody. <laughs> they all look kind of angry yeah, about it, but yeah, we'll invite them later. Work, they're working. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready yeah, for I'm this? ready. I'm ready. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's so. get ready for today's Daily Mix. I know you know about this. JR, the up and coming artist, shot a music video yesterday and he invited the whole town, everybody, everybody come, come join him. Uh, like outside. Right? Like outside, outside like everybody. Hanging out of a building, kind of everybody kind of just chilling outside on the curb. Right, just hanging out. He said he was trying to recreate the country grammar Nelly kind of feel to it. And Nelly was, is in the song, so. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a cool, it's actually a hit. And you look country grammar with the, uh, with the low riders and Nelly with the, <laughs> the I mean, St. Louis gear on That was the best that's thing cool. and all, all those St. Louis that's people. Cool. I mean, yeah. how many people did you know that were in that music video? Because I think I personally know like nine. They probably did it the same way too, just that everybody come out. Yeah, just come and, on uh, out. Just come out. Just come and join it. So I think it's, it's kinda, so cool. I wish yeah. I would have known about it. I would have been out there. I, uh, I knew about this, I couldn't make it, but I wish I would have been out there, yeah. for sure. For sure, for sure. Nelly also has a new song entitled uh, The Fix. It's not actually out yet. Uh, he uh, showed a little snippet of it on his TV show and on a question and answer session with Tammy Holland. Uh, the song, on the song is uh, artist Jeremiah and they, uh, a, little, a small excerpt from Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing. So it's gonna be a pretty Yeah, but he did say he smooth. made sure he paid for all that. He's not gonna oh, be going yeah. to court for stealing like, Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> you know, people are getting in trouble suck. for sampling. Yeah, sampling so everything's music. recycled nowadays. That's right. So you gotta, gotta be careful to dot your eyes and cross your teeth. It's gonna be a good song though. Hopefully it's a, it's a really good song and uh, Nelly gets the credit he deserves. Uh, Nelly also said that he uh, released it on the show and uh, debuted a small portion of it here because he wanted St. Louis to hear it first. Because he's from the Lou. Because he's, he's from the Lou. And he, uh, I, I was ready for that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to Nelly. For yeah, and, and St. Louis because we love St. Louis, and you know there's a best and worst cities list. Now St. Louis tied with Milwaukee for 55, 55 out of 64. That's kind of at the end of the list, which is crazy. Kansas City, Missouri ranked 28. Um, Austin, Texas, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Colorado Springs topped the list with Detroit, Michigan, Memphis, Tennessee, which I love, and Philadelphia at the bottom of the list. So I'm not sure what the list is about. So I want to know right now, favorite part about St. Louis? I don't know who we tied with again. That's a fav My favorite part of St. Yeah. Louis is uh, definitely like, uh, St. Louis has a lot of urban culture, like underground cool stuff to do. 
It's awesome. Now, I, sometimes underground stuff you don't know a lot about in other cities, but right. St. Louis is underground, like urban and music culture is cool. Personally, I love the Muni. I went, went there last night to see Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> You're gonna sing everything today. I'm so excited. <laughs> but I love that kind of stuff. So I think I think St. Louis should have rated higher. No, yeah, shit. Uh, we also have a downtown focus group uh, seeking participation from you. Uh, you can go to their Facebook. Uh, it is Downtown Focus Group. They meet Wednesday, uh, 12, uh, I'm sorry, not 12, 11.30 to 1 p.m. You can sign up through their Facebook page at uh, Downtown St. Louis, and they give you yeah, free they're food. They're going to provide you lunch, though. And everybody likes free food. Yeah, so check if you that want out. free food, check out uh, Downtown St. Louis. <laughs> All right, this I love. All right, this I love. Okay, so you know the Cardinals. Everybody loves the St. Louis Cardinals, especially here in St. Louis. Well, the Cardinals have done something kind of cool. They're installing retina scanners into the building for entry to their clubhouse. This is gonna get rid of keys and badges and other security measures. So you're basically gonna walk up there and it's gonna be very futuristic style. They're gonna scan your retina to let you, do we need that, you think? What if you get like pink eye or something? I think that's still, I mean, your retina's still, still there. But it's gonna be like, very like Batman-like. Like a futuristic kind of movie. Very, It's kind of very, cool. It's, but if, it's super cool, but kind of creepy. Like, I'm kind of scared of like the airport when you go through and get body scanned. And you get on the- uh, Yeah, that thing scares thing, me. You gotta stay. Can put you your, imagine having your eyeball scanned? Put your feet on your feet and your hands on your head. Uh -huh. I hate when Put your eyeball it. right here and scan it. It's that. kinda- If I was a Cardinal foot, I'd feel really, really cool. Like doing Batman. That, like walking into my, walking into my locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Scan my retina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. uh, Goober, Goober app. It sounds a lot like Uber because it kind of is a lot like Uber. Uh, with Goober, uh, it's kind of like a kind of joke, kind of mockery of. Uh, They're making fun of the fact that Uber's not currently in St. Louis, right? Yeah. So yeah. what happens when you text? And it? if you actually text uh, to get a Goober, uh, you'll see you. You'll be a little uh, like bullet point, like on a navigational system, and you'll see a car just driving around you. Somebody will immediately text you and say they're on their way, but they, they will never come. <laughs> they they will, never come uh, and they pick will you never up. Come. The nearest location is actually Kansas City, Missouri. Just now, they're rocks. doing this because obviously the Uber and the Taxi Cab Commission is trying to come to agreement. They they. Uber doesn't want to have to do the fingerprint or the drug testing, and the taxi cab drivers have to do that, so they right. think they should do it. Yeah, which is a fair argument, I think, for well, yeah. the taxi cab drivers, too. Uber is cool, though. Uh, I've never yeah. actually, have you ever? I've done it in Nashville. I use an Uber all the time in Nashville. It's very easy. It's kind of personal, because you're getting in somebody's actual car, so. Is it creepy? At first, if you do it alone as a female, I think it's definitely could be at first. Yeah. But. But if you got a strong man. Right, right like you, Colin. We could do it together. If you want to check this out, check out getgoober.com. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be cool. All right. All right, uh, wedding season. Wedding season. All right, I'm not a big wedding fan, but I think this is for you then. If you're like me and you're a non-traditional, fashion forward, bride or groom, a live magazine that has this really cool event. It's August 27th from a seven to 11 at Boo Cat Club. Now this is not your normal wedding show. They're gonna have vendors and food and fashion, but it's, you know, a little more different, different kind of thing. You can, of course, follow the hashtag best day ever STL, or you can go to alivemag.com to check out information on that. The orange juice in that video look really, really good. I don't know so if you're you just gonna, it. So you're just going to the, sh the that, show just to check out orange juice. Do you see the orange juice? <laughs> juice <laughs> really I didn't see it, but Fred, you that's not really why people go to wedding play shows. Play it back, all right. Okay. All right, <laughs> sorry. Uh, the Golden Rod Showboat, uh, downtown St. Louis. It is in bad shape. Uh, the showboats that are on the uh, the riverfront that are docked there, uh, Golden Rod Showboat is an historic uh, boat. It was once downtown on the riverfront. It's stuck on a sandbar near Alton, Illinois. Uh, the high water dropped and uh, the hole buckled in the center. A group is currently trying to save it. Uh, it only has thousands of dollars saved so far. Uh, replacing that hole will cost millions to repair. So hopefully you can raise some funds to replace that. Yeah, uh, and they said don't count them out yet because this, this boat has been burned down. Yeah. And they redid it. So they're thinking, they got their I fingers think twice. crossed. twice. Something else happened yeah. and they rebuilt it both times. Right. Now they're trying to put it on land so that it doesn't happen again. On land might be a better plan for the boat. That, yeah, that will be. They are holding an emergency meeting to discuss the future of what they're going to do with the Golden Rod Showboat. Uh, you can uh, check that out. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Awesome. On our All right, you know what else? Speaking of boats.
the Nina, and the Pinta. Not the Santa Maria, yeah. but the other two. They're the coming two to boats. Alton. They're actually not the real boats, obviously. Ah, because you know, Columbus, yeah. you know, he's sailed the to, ocean below. I was trying to right. think about that. They're coming to Alton, they're replicas, and you can check them out Friday, August the 7th, and Sunday, August the 16th. They have open tours daily from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And it's pretty cool to check out what the boat looks like. Now they say these two replicas are the best that are out there. So okay. if you're really into Columbus and the Nina and the Pinta, the you can check that out. That out. Uh, there's a crocodile captured, which is crazy. Crocodile was captured in West County Lake uh, by Rottler's Pets and Lawn Solutions. Uh, it took more than four days uh, to actually save the crocodile. It's believed to be a Nile crocodile. It, it grows up to 16 feet and 500 pounds. Uh, it's that, nuts. They, they think it was somebody's pet who they didn't like, right? And they just tossed it. 16 feet is very, very, very well, it's, long. It's what's, they caught it before it got crocodile. to 16 feet. But can you imagine <laughs> just being out in your random West County home? And, and you see a small crocodile <laughs> floating around. <laughs> right. <in your> <laughs> yeah. We don't get that's, crocodiles here like that's, everybody else does. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> crocodiles headed to rehab center now. Uh, follow the story on Facebook of uh, Rottler's Pets and Lawn Solutions. All right. And, you know, speaking of, you know, animals on the loose, there's a pig on the loose, a pig in Fenton. It's abandoned, it's small. Now they say it's harmless and it needs to be relocated. There's a photo of it right there on your screen. Just so you know, it's no longer wearing the rain boots. So it's rain boot list. But how cute is that little pig? Now they say it's hot and it's hungry. So if you see that boot, you can call the police at 636-349-8120. And of course you can check out updates on St. Louis County's police Facebook page. So look out for that pig. Funny story about a pig too. I was in the Central SM one time on a date and I saw a couple walking a pig, pig, a pet pig, like a small pet pig. And they were like just That'd walking so cool. it. And nobody was saying anything. Nobody, I was the only one that was kind of weirded You were kind of weirded out by the pig. a pig? It'd be kind of a cool pet to have, don't you think? Until like, do pig, all pigs get, kind of, pigs are kind of big. And... Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know how, I mean, can't you get like a teacup pig? I, I don't know. Well, I didn't have a pig, pig in college. Re actually, yeah. in college, they didn't even let us have pets. But uh, U of I has, has, on the number one, uh, has a number one spot on the list of top party schools in the country by yes. the Princeton Review. Uh, actually, I read up that uh, when you get on those lists, yeah. uh, your enrollment actually increases. Well, I would think so. What is the whole purpose of college? Well, yes, yes, parents, you're supposed to get a degree. My parents would just hate that. They saw that. There's no way I'd be Do your parents really? They probably wouldn't know. No, yeah, they wouldn't know. They probably, not check the list probably wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Syracuse University in New York dropped to number five. That was actually number one uh, previously. Uh, uh, Brigham Young University is the most sober school uh, in the country. Which, you know what? You I can still be a partier like and not drink. You can, yeah, you can. Right? Yeah, so you can just, I do that all the time, yeah. not drink and party. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. Oh. Uh, no, no St. Louis schools have made the list. No. We, gotta, we have to get on the list. We have, we, to, we really, have to go we get have, on the list. Nah, well, yeah, see, I went to Fontbon, and Fontbon's a very Catholic, very straight edge. You gotta get on the list for something. We could be the, the best party. Catholic straight straight edge yes. university. We're gonna be in, that. Uh, the best straight edge uh, Catholic <laughs> university. Well, if you go to one of these straight edge <laughs> sober schools, you can find yourself later on the 40 under 40 list. There's voting happening right now in the Business Journal. They're hunting for the most popular 40 people under 40 years old. This week, they're voting for the class of two, 2003 and 2004. They're actually going to go all the way through 2015 in September. And then in October, they're going to publish this list of who's who most popular. So if you want to vote on that, you certainly can. You can check them out on Facebook. Cool. 40 and 40 most popular poll. That yeah. should be interesting. Uh, Sparrow Labs actually made a pitch at the White House. It's the first ever White House demo day. It was this Tuesday. Uh, they're a medical device startup, and uh, it's a pocket-sized spirometer used to measure lung function. Uh, wow. for asthma patients. It's founded by uh, Abigail Cohen and Andrew Brimmer. They are both WashU alums, so we made it somewhere. There you go, there we made a list. Shot that's out a really there. cool thing that could probably really help Right. They won, they won uh, 10 or 12 competitions by May uh, 2014. Uh, it's nearly $1.42 million in investments behind that. Uh, and you know people don't invest unless they know it's going to be a good thing. Unless they know it's going to be a good thing. Yeah. And uh, with a, if it's a medical thing, it's, it's really good that it's going to be a good thing. Absolutely. Need, I'm sure I, I hope I don't need that, but I might need that. Well, yeah, I hope I don't need that either, I, but it's something to I check into. I need that. Hopefully it'll be available by January 16th. And uh, you can find out more information at sparrowlabs.com.
sparrowlabs.com. That's S P A R O labs.com. All right, now we're going to have a local green lifestyle expert, Dr. Katie Bessel Ithring. She has written a book about environmental and sustainability issues and the personal choices we can all make to create a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. And guess what? She's here, right here, right now. I'm here, I'm here Yay. right now. Yay. <laughs> It's Belial Winfrey, but that's that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Great try. Thanks for having me here on the studio. Wow, I'm so, so glad you can be here. Now, tell people a little bit about what this book entails. Um, it really starts out with trying to create an awareness of our connection to nature and the natural processes that help sustain life on Earth. And then it goes from there to really look at some of our most pressing environmental issues, such as climate change, pollution, um, uh, consumerism. Um, but it's not a book about gloom and doom, it's a book about what you can do. So it really emphasizes actions that everyone can take as an individual. And it's written in very, very personable, first person. Uh, some people say there's some funny parts, so it's very accessible for everyone, even the very tall. <laughs> well, why is this? <laughs> Sorry. Why is this so important for you? Why is this? Because I believe that the only way that we're going to have uh, collective impact on the planet, or the fix, as Nelly says, um, is really by taking individual actions. So I think it's really critically important that we all assume some responsibility and we all look at what we can do as individuals on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's really good that you take a proactive approach in this book, because a lot of, you say gloom and doom? Yeah, I'm I hear not a lot gloom about gloom and doom. Yeah. How do you feel about, uh, I know my mom stays in like the Shaw neighborhood here in St. Louis, how do you feel about those urban like gardens that are blessed of being Sure, awesome, the community that's gardens? Thing, yeah, right? well that's I worked at the Missouri Botanical Garden for go. years and there also um, participate in one of Gateway Greening's community garden. And I think it's uh, something that is really wonderful on every level. Mm -hmm. um, it teaches people to grow their own food. It also brings together people as a community. It really helps renovate neighborhoods. So I'm very pro um, community, gardening. community gardening. Have you always been one of these people into the earth? And like when you were a small child, were you always one of these? I'm a child of the 60s, need you say more? <laughs> 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 Definitely into the earth, yes. That's Very much earth mother type. Tree. Tree, the tree hugger from way back when. <laughs> read my book, Tree Hugger has a very noble uh, beginning in history. So if you read my, I'm not going to give it away because I want people to buy my book. Right, right. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, but it is. Buy the book. the book. Yeah. But without giving too much away, is there, do you have a suggestion for people? Like, one, maybe one tip you could give people right now? I'll give a, tip, a couple of tips. Mm -hmm. um, slow down, for one. Stop eating those tickets because. <laughs> <laughs> the faster Talking you go, you, you go, Talking the more <laughs> greenhouse gas emissions occur. So you want to slow down, drive at a very even uh, speed limit. You know, there's a lot of ways you can green your transportation. Ride your bike. It's harder to get a ticket. Uh, <laughs> so take public transportation. So there's multiple ways that you can green your commute. And if you live in the city, a lot of times there's not necessarily a need for a car. So. Um, we don't have Uber yet, but we do have right. taxis and the buses taxis and, and zip car and uh, enterprise rent a car, and so there's other ways to get around besides electric cars. Electric cars are so cool. Are so cool. She they are so cool. Electric electric cars. Cars. I do. Cool. Now you're having a book launch party, and you're I signing am. copies of your book, right? That's August 14th from 4:30 to 6:30. Where's that at? It's at the. Uh, just fresh, well not fresh, it's been a year now, but the historically renovated Sun Theater. Okay. Um, I'm really excited about it because it's an historic and adaptive reuse of a building, so it is that really, really in fits line. in yeah. with your book right yeah. there. Yeah. So when is that? When is the launch it's party? The launch party, yeah. it's August 14th from mm -hmm. 4.30 to 6.30 at the, it's uh, the Grand Center Arts Academy Performing Space, formerly the Sun Theater. Uh, right. Yeah. Really, really pretty yeah. Yeah. place, yeah, really pretty really place. Nice. So you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Sign some copies of the book. You can meet you, get one-on-one -on -one information from the author herself, which I really uh, like. Absolutely. Tell everybody uh, uh, any other information you want to say. Where they what? can find you, where they can look you up, where they can purchase the book from. Sure, a couple of things. Um, if you can't make it to my launch party, you can buy the book at Amazon.com. It's also available at Barnes and Noble. Um, also from my publisher at For the Genius Press. Um, you can look me up at my website. It's www.kdfalyle.com. Yeah, she didn't make that easy, but you can definitely yeah. look it up right, right there on <laughs> my name. Ifrig. Ifrig. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you, Katie, so much for joining us today and definitely check out her book. Now, as always, you can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, or you can always uh -huh. drop us a line right here at The Daily Mix 
at stltv.net. We definitely want to hear from you, especially if something cool is coming up. We want to know about it. And uh, that's it for the Daily Mix. Uh, tune in next time. And, uh, tune in. I don't know sure about you guys. Right here on STL TV. But I had a great time here. St. Louis. Yeah. And tell Colin how much you love him. We love Colin. You guys, you love me too. <laughs> you like, you love me too. We <laughs> love you guys. Well, there we go. Oh, we're here doing we a go. group hug? Bring, bring it in. Oh, everybody. Everybody. Bring it in. <laughs>